da'wah is an obligation upon each and every single soul. Now, you know what the excuse I hear about da'wah is? Why people don't do it? Give me excuses. Tell me why all of you are not involved in da'wah. Somebody give me some of the excuses uh, for themselves or that they hear. Why is not everybody involved in da'wah? Out there calling people to the book of Allah and the sunnah of his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa Give me some excuses. You don't have knowledge. Masha Allah, may Allah reward you young man. You don't have knowledge. Let me deal with don't have knowledge first because this is the big one. This is the big one. We talked about the first obligation upon every individual is what? As salah After your shahada, it's salah. What if I tell you I don't pray because I don't know how? What if I tell you right now I've been Muslim 15 years and I don't pray because I don't know how? What are you going to tell me? Somebody tell me. What's your response? What is mandatory upon me? If I don't know how to pray, am I free from praying? What's mandatory upon me to learn how to pray? That becomes my obligation learning how to pray because there is no excuse. So knowledge is not an excuse. I, I'm glad you said it, but I'm letting you know, young man, it's not an excuse. Because an obligation that you're required to do, the knowledge of how to perform it also becomes incumbent upon you. So if you're not learning da'wah, you are sinning every single day in front of Allah Azza wa Jal. It's just the reality of the matter. You need to hear it like this. You're committing a sin every single second of every single day that you're not learning how to properly convey this message of Islam. And Shaykh Haytham said that very beautifully in last Friday's khutbah. If you're not involved in da'wah, you're a sinner. Just accept it. Just, just accept it as a reality.